Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball 12 box, pick your team, number 8 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thank you to all of these wonderful people right here for getting into it. Pick your team 8, Hobby Edition on the 13th, Thursday the 13th. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in uh, that pack break that we did. Brandon with Last Spot Mojo Yankees. And there you go. Thanks everyone for getting in. Really appreciate it. I need a little more penny sleeves here. So it's a full case. It's going to take about 45, 50 minutes. So just under an hour. So if you got, if you're not in this break, you got something to do, then uh, go do it. <laughs> and I'll see you back here in about an hour. If you're in this break, sit back and relax. We're talking a little bit about about NASCAR before and. I was telling FSL that I got a PS4 and the only game I have is NASCAR Heat 5 and a, and a World War II related Call of Duty game. I don't like the other ones. <laughs> the World War II ones I like. But he was like, you got to get the show, MLB the show. I haven't played a baseball video game, I don't know, in like, I'm not a game, I don't, I'm not a video game. I don't play video games at all. So... I've never purchased a system in my entire life until a Switch. I do, I, I guess I do play the Switch. But, and then until uh, the PS4, and I've just, so I've never played a MLB The Show game, ever. So I wouldn't know how to play. I guess I should get it and learn how to play. Is it hard? I feel like there's a lot of buttons. The other guys do, the other guys play. I guess I, I guess they could, we can do like Jaspi's video game streams. Not that hard to play. For I'm talking I haven't played since since I was playing like I don't think I've ever played a baseball video game to be honest with you in my entire life. I suppose I could figure it out if I could play if I could play Call of Duty. I could figure out how to play baseball. I'm trying to figure out how to play real baseball. I've been looking up how to improve my two-seamer. I don't think I'm a four-seam guy. I don't think I have the arm strength for that. El Canon, what's going on? Rajesh, what's going on? How are you? Rex saying Cubs just beat the Brewers. Darvish is 3-1. 2020 gets weird. Nah, Darvish being 3-1 and one is not surprising. He's a pretty good pitcher. He's healthy now. That's the key. We can break cards in the game for Diamond Dynasty teams. It's a, is that like Madden Ultimate team? You pull cards and build your teams in Diamond Dynasty. That sounds like a lot of work. Arthur, uh, you won the Royals and you won the Cardinals. You got Royals Cardinals. Did you buy anything straight up? I don't think you buy anything straight up. No worries, Arthur. Good luck, man. All right. I've never heard of baseball stars on NES, Chris. And there's Tony Gonsolin. He had a nice start yesterday. Gobbled up some innings for my Dodgers. That goes to Evan and the Dodgers. I think they're playing right now. If this Portland game wasn't on, then I'd probably be watching the Dodgers game. So apologies for the basketball in the background. But how are my Dodgers doing around? I think it was tied 2-2 at the first. Oh, Dodgers got up to 6-2? What happened there? Sorry, I got I to gotta look at this. So they were up 2-2 in the first. Oh, and then a AJ Pollock home run brought it up to 3-2 in the first. And then the second inning, Mookie Betts homer driving in Chris Taylor, and then AJ Pollock doubled in a run. Okay, got it. 
The Cardinals are going to Chicago now to play a doubleheader on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday just to catch up, cheese. Yeah, baseball's all about player safety, Rex. Don't forget. They make you play a bunch of uh, a bunch of doubleheaders. Jet was just playing MLB on NES today. What MLB game were you playing on NES? Were you playing Tecmo Baseball? RBI Baseball? Bases Loaded, maybe? There's Zach Gallen, orange, rookie auto for Coppola and the Diamondbacks. Ten out of twenty-five on that one. Well, presumably they don't have it anymore, right, Rex? I ideally. <laughs> You're welcome, Grizz. An, the orange autos are nice. Luis Robert, that 1985 design. Um, Matthew Shearer with the White Sox. We got blue, 34 out of 75, blue wave. We got Hanser Alberto. We got a die cut of Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. Nice freshman flash, Kyle. I think the Orioles won again. They're 10 and 7, ladies and gentlemen. Are we living in a world where the Orioles are going to make the playoffs? Bichette, 85 for the Buffalo Blue Jays. That's going to go to Richard Z. Gavin Lux will go to the Dodgers. Evan with my Dodgers. He gets that Gonsolin from earlier as well. And Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. Derek Riley. What top? Oh, this, this top loader twist? Yeah, it's just efficient. There's Keston right there. And the Mar that's right, EA. What's the Marlins record? Are we living in a world where the or are, are we living in a world where there could be a Marlins Orioles World Series? The O's have the highest team batting average so far, CJ saying? Come on. That's crazy talk. I mean they're playing against like the Yankees and the Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. They're 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 playing good. They're playing good teams. We're playing good pitching. It's not like they're in a scrub division with crappy pitchers. Man. Fantasy team is doing terrible. I'm barely paying attention to it. I feel like it's just kind of like this season. Like I'm enjoy I'm like enjoying playing fantasy baseball, but I'm not super into it because I'm like, well, it's kind of an exhibition season, isn't it? Orioles Marlins World Series. Oh, they haven't played. Marlins haven't played the, uh, or Orioles haven't played the Yankees or the Red Sox much yet. CJ saying, "Well, listen, if they do, and they they're still they still walk out of those series with a winning record, especially against the Yankees, this this world has truly gone topsy turvy." We we will uh, we have officially gone through the looking glass. All right. Up is down, left is right. Pigs are flying. Yeah, well, Orioles put eleven runs on the Phillies today. I think I was on the Orioles today.
Did we pull another deck card? And we got Jesus Tinoco. Rookie auto for the rocks. That goes to Travis Need. There you go, Travis. No, I don't know. That's a good idea. I don't know if Buffalo Blue Jays fans have been breaking tables yet. They should be. If I'm a fan, I'd go straight to that AAA ballpark, tailgate out there, responsibly tailgate out there, properly distanced, and I'd be jumping on tables. 96 out of 99, Manny Machado. Green wave for the Friars. That's going to be for Ryan D. It's Gavin Lux. Die cut, Mariano Rivera for the Yankees. It's across the border. We aren't allowed. So there's no Blue Jays fans in Buffalo? In the city of Buffalo, Jet? The only Blue Jays fans are in Toronto. We've got Tyler Alexander. His first start was a little rough. First start was a little rough, but he had that relief appearance beforehand where he struck out nine batters in a row. Look at the video of that. It's pretty impressive. Steve Locke with the Tigers. Luis Robert. It's our first base card of the Luis Robert. The refractors are what we're looking for, but the base are still nice. That goes to Matthew Shira. FSL saying, I wonder how mad Jays fans are going to be about their team leaving Toronto. I mean, they're going to be like the Browns leaving Cleveland to go to Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. Watch the watch the blue just like, you know what? We like Buffalo. We're gonna make this permanent. Remember, only veteran commons don't ship, but all those different inserts, refractors, the the prism refractors, all of those. Even if they're uh, vet players of course will ship. It's just the comments that won't ship the base cards. Jed, you were angry at the Canadian government not letting them play in Toronto, but letting hockey in Toronto. Well, that's a different situation. For baseball, teams, there's no bubble. Teams are flying in, they're flying out, flying in, flying out. You know? In Toronto, they fly in once, quarantine for two weeks, and then they're bubbled up. No one's going anywhere, in or out. So, yeah, so I think that's that's the major difference there. I understand it. Uh, Pete Alonzo, that's second year. So, no, his second year cards aren't going to ship. He's technically a vet at that point. Vladdy All-Star Rookie Cards, Vladdy Inserts will, of course, ship. Because those All-Star Cards are, a, uh, are, are an insert. Uh, we sell the Vet Commons and send all the proceeds to various charities that we support. Boys and Girls Club, LA's Best, which is an after-school program here. I think we've done we've done Children's Hospital LA. I'm pretty sure. Sometimes we, we've had some teachers reach out to us and um, and ask for vet commons to uh, to just use for classroom purposes. So we've done that. They, we just made them pay for shipping. We've donated that to them there. So 
we find good homes for them. If we were open, if our shop was open, we did something on our grand opening. Um, we've done something on our grand opening where we um, just had a bunch of monster box sit out and just people just spent hours just going through a card and buying them. We would put all that to, to charity as well. Would we ship just one of each vet common? No. We would not. It's a, it's really a, a sorting thing. It just helps us sort everything faster. If we try to pull out one of each thing, we may as well ship the whole thing, and that's that kind of defeats the purpose. And uh, since we since we offer free shipping. I think it just kind of helps us out on the shipping costs as well. Unless you feel like starting to pay for shipping, Tyler Brenner. I feel like most people would be like, I'd rather just not pay for shipping, Joe. Blue Wave, Gavin Lux. 92 out of 150. Nice, Evan with my Dodgers. Oh, did I miss a Jordan Alvarez? Sorry, that maybe that was my... There's a refractor. Possibly my Dodgers bias coming through EA. All right, there's rookie Gavin Lux, refractor Jordan Alvarez for EA and the Astros. The other one will ship too. There's the Kyle Lewis for the M's, Derek Riley. And then the purple, Luis Robert. And that will be for the White Sox. Matthew Shearer got the White Sox. 172 out of 290. Is that our first? Is that our first Gavin Lux? I feel like we've seen a couple in all the cases we've done, in the jumbo cases. Is there a rivalry between the Angels and my Dodgers? Angels fans may think there's a rivalry, but I don't think Dodgers fans really do. Kyle Lewis on card rookie autograph, Seattle Mariners, Derek Riley. There you go, he's happy. Capital Y-E-S, yes. I wish Marv Albert would say yes right now, yes! Go, Marv. Hey, thanks for getting in, Derek. You got that team straight up. I appreciate that. You'll get this, too. Is he still hitting? Still hitting well? All right, next box. Yeah, that's right. Lux Auto, Purple Robert, and a Kyle Lewis autograph. Actually, yeah. I, I'm just kind of on autopilot. I, I was like, wait a second, that is from the same box. It's a great box. One of the best we've seen, the best individual box in a little while. Ever, maybe, aside from... Whatever box has the Luis Robert Superfractor Auto. You can rewind, Jet. Should be a DVR function. You can check out the best box ever. Ooh, nice. I just saw that on, on MLB Game Day, EA. Mookie Betts in play. Runs on a 95 and a 95.2 mile per hour sinker. Is that going to turn into a home run? Update MLB game day. It looks like a sinker that didn't sink. Oh, has that already been pulled? Then that, that, that box would be the best box. Ours is the second best box ever. Day one, really? What about the 1985 Superfractor Auto? There you go. Sixth home run for Mookie Betts on a line drive homer to center. Dodgers up 9-2 on the Padres. Bottom of the fourth.
we'll just have to get the out of fives in. Are there out of fives in this set? Oh, Corey Seager's back in line. What's that? Why is that upside down? Is that the relic? Who's banging trash cans? Chavez Ravine. What are you talking about? Brian Peebles. Well-noted Padres fan. What are you trying to say? You're trying to say we're like these guys? Not like these guys. Obviously. Austin Nola, Aaron's brother, going to Derek Riley and the M's. Just a good team, Brian Peebles. Just a good team. If there was trash cans out there, you'd hear it. 23 out of 25, or did we crank up the fan noise? Maybe the Dodgers are like, no one's getting punished for this. All right, there you go. 23 out of 25, Dustin May, Mayday, code red, going to Evan and the Dodgers. Really like the way those oranges look. Is that refractor, Mike Trout? It is. And then a Nico Horner, 85. That'll be for Coppola and the Cubs. Refractor Mike Trout goes to Brandon, Smokey Brandon, and the Halos. No, I know, Brian. Or, uh, I know, uh... What is that? Oh, I thought it was... Uh, I know, Brian. Brian. Brian's a Padres fan. He's not happy with this result here. I thought... I thought... I think Paddock made the start today. He kind of has our number. But not today. A lot of the Dodgers guys were saying that, like, you know, we just played each other, like, a few days ago, you know? So, like, I think there's, like, a familiarity with, with some of the pitching. And people were saying that, that that can get a little difficult. FSL saying Padres have the best uniforms? I think the, the crisp white uniform of the Dodgers may disagree with that. There's Sam Hilliard in the Rockies. I, I do like that they went back to the, uh, the old chocolate and mustard, though. I think they look sharp. There's Mark Teixeira. Look how young he looks there. Piece of his jersey. The Padres camo jerseys are pretty fantastic. I'm of the belief that it should only be... Because I think the Padres kind of started that, right? I think... And then everyone else kind of went on board the, 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 the camo uni train. But I, I believe that only the Padres should be allowed to wear those camo unis on Sundays. And then just, like, pack the stadium with, with the military guys and girl, girls in the stands. There's speaking of the Padres, there's Adrian Morahone right there. That's my that's my uniform hot tape. I don't think it's Mookie's second home run, is it? No, I think he just... No, he has two. He had a second inning one and then the fourth inning one. Yeah, it's two. No, see, I... I mean... I don't know. Dodgers uniform, they're just so classic that the, that the road grays and the home whites, I think, are, are, are good enough. A Jaspies baseball jersey? Interesting. A little button up with a cursive Jaspies on the front. That'd be kind of cool. Except the Jaspies colors, or although we updated the color actually, where it's more of a green and orange. I guess that's okay. The black and orange. This 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 color scheme looks a little too uh, looks a little too uh, San Francisco Giants. So I would not wear that jersey. If we made one, I'd respectfully decline. But this color scheme, yeah, I'd wear a baseball jersey in that color scheme. 
Maybe if we go to the National next year, we'll get matching uh, baseball jerseys. It looks a little dolphin-y, doesn't it? Yeah, that top color scheme. It makes Teddy really happy, Rex. Ted's a, Ted Jaspi is a Dolphins fan, so. FSL. Yeah, if you, if you see me at the National, and if you're like, hey, I'm FSL, and I'll be like, hey. And you'll be like, hey, can I get an autograph? And I'll go find a blank card, and I'll sign it. In fact, I have the pens they use for autographing right here. That's what we use at the shop. That's what they use. I don't know if I want to do an autograph session. That's why I declined to be a professional athlete, FSL. When they were like, Joe, do you want to be a professional athlete? He's like, nah, too many autographs to sign. And we should get, should get Jaspi Brave. At the National, um, we, I have a, uh, I have a card of me. That's slab by PSA. Because PSA was doing a promo where you can line up, and then they'll take a picture of you like holding a bat or like throwing a baseball or something like that, and then they'd, uh, then they print out the photo and they slab it for you and they just give it to you. Tops had a photo booth too where they printed out cards and stuff. Um, which was which was pretty cool as well. I have one of those as well. Oh yeah, maybe we have we should we should get some tops on demand cards. There's Yusai Kikuchi to twenty five. Mariners that goes to Derek Riley. <laughs> Oh man, that that that's just so LA, Rex. If I just had a stack of eight by tens, yeah, pop one on that PSA EA. Yeah, if I had a stack of eight by tens, like a headshot, would 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 my headshot be this? Just just ready to sign, just a sharpie ready to go. <laughs> Logan Allen, people shaking their heads like, man, that guy, that guy's kind of full of himself, huh? One forty nine out of two hundred and fifty on that Logan Allen autograph for Ryan D and the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, I. Oh, it was just an hour from you, Ray. We were excited. There was sports gambling in New Jersey, and we were Nick and I were just like, "Oh man, I can bet on sports in the morning and then break during the day and then go collect our winnings at night." We were very excited about that, but sad that it was canceled. And there is Keen Wong. That's got to, he's got to be, he's got to be related to Colton Wong, no? That goes to the Giants, my rivals, Coppola with that. Colton's brother, Sam Rails confirming. There you go, I got, I mean, K, how many, how many Wongs are in baseball? K, K names right here. The parents are just like, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Grizzle says, Joe, my headshot would be the face I make when I forget about doing break rate and have to do a separate video. It would be this. I'm a dumb. Sorry, guys. That's, that's how it would look. Yeah, that's how they would list my height. Everyone lists their height like that. They list Pedro Martinez as 6'2". He's definitely not 6'2". Well, they wouldn't be free, Rex. I'd, I'd charge for them for sure. Ricky Henderson die cut. Johnny Pool Noodle saying, how much do you think a... My, <laughs> look at his... I just noticed that, Johnny. Look at his, uh, his uh, avatar. The photograph. It's a bunch of pool noodles. Are you in the pool noodle business, Johnny? 
Do you sell pool noodles? That kind of got me. That definitely got me. He's asking, how much do you think a Mike Ostremski Topps Chrome 2019 Rookie Auto goes out of 125 goes for? I mean, I would just look on, look up a secondary market, look at sold items, and see what they're going for. But I would think that they would be kind of be creeping up, you know, because he's played really well last year, and I think he's playing all right this year. So the value's got to be got to be much higher than what it was. You know when his first when his card first came out, right? Him being Carl Yastrzemski's grandson, I think's got to add a little extra weight to it too. I mean, really, they should just trade him to the Red Sox, and that's where that's that's what we want. All right. After this box, we're halfway through this full case break. How am I doing on time? Good. I'm only 31 minutes in, so probably another 20, 30 minutes for us to finish this break. And then, um, well, I don't know what I'm doing after this. I think I'm doing some cup hockey after this, a couple other breaks, Sapphire. Oh, hit, hit parade basketball, optic basketball, and then it'll probably, be, probably turn over to Sean at that point. But... Anyhow, we got a, we got a busy night. Johnny wishes he sold pool noodles. It would be the dream. Pool noodles are great. The 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 the, the temptation to uh, to strike someone multiple times with, with with multiple pool noodles is what usually gets me in trouble at the pool. No, I, I don't think... I think we're going on normal time tomorrow, Sam. Although, I don't know. No one, no one's told me if they're going early, so I have no idea. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Keep an eye on our, our email blasts and our Twitter. We'll let you know if we go on early. William saying, I, I should get help? What, for my pool noodle? Pool, pool noodle attacking? Yeah, it's a problem of mine. Part of my checkered past. Have we done an employee group photo for the website or anything? No, no, we haven't actually. Do we want to do one? I think the rest of the team like being anonymous. They're not, they're not attention whores like the, the, the guys on camera. <laughs> Sean Murphy. Uh, that goes to Josh Lucas and the Oakland A's. The <laughs> pool noodle cry for help. Oh, Michael Conforto to 150 for the Mets. Michael Conforto to 150. Metropolitans, Brandon with that one. There's Mike Jastrzemski right there, Gavin Lux, rookie card. Jordan Alvarez base. We saw the refractor earlier, which was pretty, pretty nice. Oh, Portland is down. Brooklyn's up 95-90 with three minutes left in the third quarter. What's happening here? Are the Trail Bears going to blow it, leaving the window open for the Phoenix Suns? There's Orange Wave, Andres Munoz. Still a lot of game to go. Ryan with the Padres, 2 out of 25. There's Luis Robert. Kyle Lewis right here, too. Sure thing, Brandon. Will do.
There's Elise Robert. Die cut. Eloy. Kevin Newman, photo negative for the Pirates. That'll be for Brandon. All right, next box, halfway through. What are the Nets playing for here? Sorry, I, I know this is a baseball break, but it's a long break. We can we can stray off topic here. But are the Nets? The Nets aren't in, right? They're just playing spoiler. It's a good three by Damian Lillard. Is he gonna get hot again? Is that the Davy Allison car that he crashed at Pocono is being sold for 50k? Wait, is he? Wait, which which Allison is not with us anymore? Is it Davy Al? Is it Dave Allison? Bobby Allison? Got Colin Posh, rookie auto for the Rays. Brandon, with the Rays. Nice Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays. Richard Z. Jack Flaherty, two ninety nine. There's Brendan McKay. There's your Brendan McKay for the Rays. Jack Flaherty, purple for the Cardinals. Uh, for Arthur, got randomized the Cardinals in a team random. He was calling a Cardinals Super Fractor earlier. Could be interesting. guys. Trout 85. Johnny Bench die cut. This break brought to you by Blue Emu. What's the, what's the tagline? Feels great. Doesn't stink. Blue Emu. We've got to have ad breaks in this someday. Rhea with that one. Brandon with the Angels. Nico. Kyle Lewis, 85. 
Mariners. That'll be for Derek Riley. And Abraham Toro's got to just maybe just expand the autograph a little bit. Rookie auto for EA and the Strohs. Nice. 143 out of 150 on that one. Blue. Blue auto. Bobachette Refractor. Nice. There we go. Richard Z with the Bluebirds. The Buffalo Blue Jays. Buffalo! Buffalo Gold. This break brought to you by Buffalo Gold. America's favorite slot machine. Next box. Do we have any WWE cards in the shop? No. I don't know. No. I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe check uh, the personal box site, jazpies.com. Derek says there is wrestling on Jaspi's personal. There you go. Knock yourself out, FSL. You want to sponsor us? We've got to figure out an ad rate. We need to do a... That's another thing on the on one of our many burners. That we, or one of our many burners here in the Jaspi's kitchen. We need to do some sort of demographic survey. And then use that to get advertisers. And then next thing you know... It will be sponsored by ZipRecruiter, which I feel like do a lot of ads. Looking for the best candidate during a group break? Hey, it's easy. Go to ZipRecruiter.com and uh, look for jobs or find someone for your job. ZipRecruiter, the only way, the zippiest way to recruit. ZipRecruiter. I could I could do ad I could do ad reads while I'm opening up packs. Look at that. Look at that. I can, I can do ad reads while I open up packs. Advertisers, line up. Line up. That would be great, FSL. Maybe someday I won't even have to talk and I can just open up things and I'll be like, hmm. And then FSL who's trying to get into broadcasting. Professional broadcasting, professional sports broadcasting. Just announce, announce stuff. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. I would, I would preserve my golden voice. I'd want you to be more like Jack Buck as opposed to Joe Buck, though. To be fair, TBH. We like Juan Soto refractors, non rookies. Maybe I don't know. Does that go for a million dollars? Nationals, John S. Maybe, it's hitting well. Nice, Brandon McKay Prism Refractor. See that? BT? Nice one, Rays. Brandon got randomized the Rays in a team random, Alex Young. <laughs> Good friends with whose son? Tim Everett's son? It was Alex Young, I Capola. Domingo Leib 99. One, two, three, four. That's correct, John McCall. Those are four boxes that you see in front of you. Your eyes doth now doth not deceive thee. And Urgelio Armenteros for EA and the Strohs. Autograph. What a 
a shot by Damian Lillard. That was ridiculous. I just saw it out of the, out of the corner of my eye. He pulls that at the NBA logo in the center of the court. Jesus. Christ. Uh-oh, more trash cans, <laughs> Brian Peoples. He's blaming the Dodgers offense on trash cans. Hey, thanks, John McCall. Appreciate that. We like Aquino, too, even though he didn't make the team. I was just re-watching his, like, amazing home run streak from last week. Mookie has a third home run? All I see is in-play runs on MLB game day. Wow, there it is. Home run number seven, scoring Chris Taylor again. Looks like he's not a bust anymore. Looks like he's not a bust. Red Sox, you can keep Alex Verdugo. Oh, it was Luis Perdomo again who gave gave up the second home run. You heard a rumor that uh, ESPN that ESPN says I'm going to sign with the Dodgers. That's news to me. My agent hasn't even called me yet. It's the way it goes in modern modern professional sports, ladies and gentlemen. Those leaks. They get out before the player even knows. I haven't even gotten a gotten a call. Just the way it goes. Derek, what's up? Your friend works at a Goodwill and they get donated an unopened box of Topps Senior Professional Baseball today? From what year? What? What's in there? Who's in there? From the 80s. So you bought it. Right, Derek Riley? Apparently, it was past their prime players over 35 years old. That's brutal. <laughs> well, no. That is brutal. Lasted two seasons. I didn't even, I was not even aware of that set. It's like guys that are in the, in the senior set, they're like, hey, come on. Come on, my life... Talking like my life is over at 35. And we got Hunter Harvey for your AL East winning Orioles. Are they going to win the East? Jarrell Taylor with the O's. One seventy out of four ninety nine refractor auto. Trey Mancini will also go to Jarrell. 71 out of 250. And a Luis Robert Prism Refractor for the White Sox, Matthew Shira. Those, are, those people are the worst, Brian Peoples. There's, there's a special place in hell for the people who are lowballing you on six dollar cards. Come on.
And there's Jake Fraley for Derek Riley and the M's. I, Derek, I feel like the M's are having a nice little break here. Nickel and diming you on on six dollar cards. That's that's silly. It's like when people when we have like a twenty five dollar break on the site. They're like, listen, if you do it for twenty, I'll get. It's like twenty five bucks. Come on. And you're asking if you do it for twenty, you'll buy a spot. Like, come on, man. That's that's crazy. I'd be more impressed if that person was just like. Uh, how about five dollars? I mean, like, eh, okay, that's that's a little, a little more bold. Answer still no. But there's Austin Nola. I know, yeah, and we do free shipping, United States. Yeah. But uh, but no. Every once in a while, you'll get that. It's like I'll just, I'll just wait for the. I'll just wait for the person who will, who, will, who will pay for the fairly priced spot. All right, almost there. Three boxes to go. Good luck. Portland now up. No, Brooklyn now up. They're trading leads. 114 to 112. Seven and a half minutes, seven and 45 left in the fourth quarter. Trailblazers starting to heat up again. If they win, they're in. Tied at 114. If they lose, the Suns will play the Grizzlies for the play in spot for the eighth seed in the Western Conference. Exciting. Exciting. Wow. Who was that? Someone shooting threes. That guy. What's he doing shooting threes? Oh, no. You got to get the rebound. Dame from three. Sinks it. 117, 116 now. This is crazy. Dame Lillard has 39 points already. We're, we've been planning on a Jaspies vlog. I'm working on that. A blog, vlog, something like that. We'll get them. That's another one on one of the many multiple burners in the Jaspie's kitchen. CJ McCollum missed a three. Nets transition and score a bucket. 120, 117, with six and a half minutes left. Timeout called. Damn. Frantic pace. Hard knocks I would not do. I don't want a camera crew following me around. We got Kyle Garlic. Mmm, Garlic. I want to go to California. Northern California has a nice garlic festival that I'd like to go to someday. Uh, Dodgers, Evan. The Dustin May Refractor. <laughs> In the Garlic Hills.
these are the uh, the cutout pieces of the the die cuts. And we got Michael Baez, rookie auto for the Friars. Ryan Deep with that. There's Aquino. All those Aquinos will go to you, Rhea. Do we got in here? Oh, I thought that was a soup for a second. Not a soup, but it's a gold. 33 out of 50. Pete Alonzo, gold wave Brandon with the Mets. Petey. Petester. Two boxes to go. I know. Well, you got that in my head, Arthur. You got like you got me thinking Super Fractor, and I was like, "Oh, is that a soup? We got a soup up in this? No, no soup. But we got two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. This is Picker Team number eight, twelve box hobby number eight, twenty twenty tops Chrome Baseball. Some very nice stuff in here. Got a few other breaks coming up after this. So we'll be onwards to another break shortly. I'm a little behind schedule. I think I'm distracted by this basketball game here. This determines the final play in spot for the eighth seed in the West. The Brooklyn Nets are trying to play spoiler here. They seem very motivated to play spoiler. They're up 120 to 117 with six minutes left. Jared Allen grabbing a couple rebounds here. It's pretty good. Jake, we're shooting for uh, September 1 or early September. I don't know what day September 1 falls on, but early September is when we're shooting for uh, a reopen. We've been we've started to kind of restock all of our showcases and whatnot. So I think we're finally done with our big remodels and whatnot. So I think we're we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, I, I use the train whistle my vo my voice. That's what I use for the big hits, of course. Uh, we're not really selling individual cards in the meantime, but we do curbside pickup for the for boxes on jaspies.com. We've been doing that all summer. Wow, CJ McCollum's fractured back. Well, not, a, not fractured back, but fractured piece of bone on his vertebrae does not seem to be affecting him. He has 23 points tonight. Oh, I do it. Yeah, I do have an actual whistle. No, I don't use that until, like, if I have, like, a, my voice goes out or something like that. And I'll use that as the, that's my, that's my backup. All right. We've got a Luis Robert on top. More for the White Sox, Matthew Shearer. And another Mariner, Austin Nola. His autograph isn't as, 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 as tight or as sharp as his brother Aaron's, but still nice. Uh, you don't need to give me an I already have an actual whistle. Excuse me. <clears throat> Which I might need to use. 
losing my voice. <clears throat> And for the Blue Jays, Buffalo Blue Jays, Jacob Wagis Wagisback, Refractor Auto, and a Refractor Luis Robert. Nice. Matthew Shira. Finally. Please, please don't. I, I will not accept gifts from someone like Hunter Pence. There's Bryce Harper, 49 out of 75. <clears throat> John in the Nationals. Okay, last one coming up. No, I'm good at FSL. Thanks. Good looking out, though. to box. Good luck. Luis Patino is in? EA's reporting? Dust off your Luis Patino rookies. Isaiah, what's up? No, Jason is off today. Sean's been filling in today. Wow, yeah, I saw that. Called strike 98.9. It's crazy. Hey, what's the timing looking over here? It's looking great. So right around 9 or what? Right at 9, yeah. Okay, I've, got, I've only got one other personal break in. I'm just going to take a quick lunch. Sure. So I'll do that and then kind of... Sure, yeah. Oh. We're, we're booming. This is still close. 126, 125. Brooklyn's only up by a point. 314 left. 312 left. 10 left. How funny it would be if Nick set up a meet and greet and it's Hunter Pence? I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll break with it. I'm, I'm, I'm a professional, Rex. Oh, Phillies, I meant. Yeah, you know it. It doesn't matter what I say, Brandon. I could say all these cards go to the Nationals. But really, the sorting team goes by the logos on the back, so... Imagine if they had to watch the break to see where cards go. That'd be ridiculous. No, they don't even—they don't even watch it. I don't think they even know what I do. Kidding. No, they'll—they'll they'll just go by the back of the card, 
or the front, I guess in this case, the front of the car, that's where it goes. It'll go to the right place. There's Hunter Harvey. Phillies. See, I can say whatever I want. But it'll still go to Jarrell and the Orioles. There's Eugenio Suarez, 94 out of 99. Wow, 130, 130, less than two minutes left. Portland wins, they're in. If they don't win, they're not they're not in. This is wild. That uh, I, I think it is. I think that is the second. Uh, I'm gonna do a recap, but I think it is the second. Second one. Absolutely not. That would be disrespectful. And besides, I think you know my thoughts on Hunter Pence and his his out of baseball activities, his murderous axing activities. So I don't want to anger a person like that. I'd be extremely polite, even too polite. Safer that way. There's a uh, Ranhel Ravello. Rookie auto for Arthur and the Cardinals. Wow. That's, how, that's how I'd say, Rex. I'd be really nice to him. And in my head, I'd be like, please, God, don't axe murder me. All right, there you go, 2020, Tops Chrome Baseball, in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a great break! There you go. No, I don't have to. I don't have to give away anything or anything. I'm just doing. Just going to do a recap. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Twelve box hobby. Pick your team number eight. 2020 Tops Chrome Baseball in the books. Arthur with the last autograph. A lot of nice stuff in here. Some Roberts. Some gold waves. That prism refractor Luis Robert is nice. There you go. Some Astros autos. Some Luis Roberts. Bobachette Refractor, some Blue Wave, some Kyle Lewis's, Andres Munoz, Orange Wave, Orange, that's the Relic, one for Case Relic, some Orange Dustin May, look at this, nice Kyle Lewis autograph right here, Luis Robert Purple, so we got the Prism Refractor and the Purple, the Gavin Lux Blue Wave we just flashed by, Kyle Lewis, Robert, Zach Gallen, Tony Gonsolin, so on and so forth, and a bunch of other uh, numbered cards and refractors and parallels and all sorts of fun stuff with all the top rookies in here out of 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.